wake your asses up. It's time to get it. What it do, bro? I can't even explain what the hell happened last night with this wedding. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. All right, everybody, wake your asses up. It's time to get it. All right. That was terrible. Y'all wasn't ready for that. Here, say it, Brian. I didn't sound as good as you. Wake your asses up. It's time to get it. <laughs> When I first knew Melanie was one, check this out. We were actually driving down the street. She was driving, I was in the passenger seat. And we came to a hard stop at the light. And she actually stuck her arm out like this to block me from going forward. To block me from going forward, right? And I, I sat there and I had a moment. I was like, no, she just didn't. I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. And she stuck her arm out to basically save me. And I was like, she's, she's, she's the one. I swear I believe you're a superhero. <laughs> The way you manifest every dream car. Oh, so the crazy abs you get after like two sit-ups. And the way that you seem to make me feel infinite. When I'm with you, I feel safe, I feel seen, and I feel loved. What I love about you most is your spirit. You always are upbeat. You brighten up my day, especially with all your jokes. If y'all don't know, this woman has major jokes. <laughs> Brian, I'm so fulfilled being your partner for this life and every lifetime after this because I'm definitely sure I'll find you. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. I'm so nervous and excited. <laughs> you look so good. So I met Mel back in 93. Uh, she's uh, been a part of my life ever since. We've been watching Disney movies as kids all day to backpacking in Europe in high school. Through it all, Mel has always been a fiercely devoted person who has always put her whole heart and mind into whatever it was at that time she wanted and whatever she was doing. I'm immensely proud to be to call myself her brother and absolutely love her. today. I am so proud of you. You guys were talking about souls. I think somewhere along the line we were sisters in that previous life and you've been my best friend besides my daughter and I'm just so proud of you and your husband today and thank you for making this commitment in front of everyone here and letting us all be a part of it.
is, to me in my life is amazing. Growing up in foster care, I never had the opportunity to say somebody was my best friend. And even calling Brian my best friend just doesn't feel right. It almost feels like a downgrade to what he actually is in my life. I get emotional thinking about it because Brian has so much integrity. And you guys don't know this, like I have a fantastic life because of Brian. Brian picked me up in his car when he had no gas. We would walk out to the beach and I'd be like crying. I'm like, bro, I don't know, but Brian, I'm like, bro, I got like $70 to my name. Brian be like, bro, I got like 60, so you got... <laughs> Brian used to tell me, he's like, style, one day we're gonna have the life of our dreams. One day we're gonna drive the kind of cars we wanna drive. One day, and I'd be like, man, and every day, Brian had that same level of ambition and drive. For somebody to be able to completely transform your life and not benefit necessarily, it just goes to show you that this guy is really like, Brian is really, really that guy. How you feel? Good? I just love you. Best life ever, huh? <laughs>